to account. And we need to be getting to the truth of the people that have been hurt by this vaccine. Terrible stories of people that have been hurt, never reported, and then re-victimised by a system, a medical system, a political system, and a bureaucratic system that says it's all in your head, or it's something else. And we need to know the truth of the families that have suffered. The total truth. And there's another thing that we need to do, finally. I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. We'll get our freedom back. We'll get the truth. We'll get accountability for you and your mum. Did you hear that, journalist? So it comes over to this lot. I think we have to love our politicians. It's the easiest thing in the world to look at them and say how nasty they are, how evil they are. It's easy to say that about the media. That is not who we are. Because we're Kiwis. The politicians up there aren't that much different aren't any different to me and they're no different to you. The journalists up there aren't any different to me and they're no different to you. I don't understand what's driving them. We all have our theories. I suspect it's fear. I think they are scared of the virus. I think they're scared of the disease, but most of all, they're scared of us. We've got to remove that fear, because as long as we are scared, we can't have freedom. As long as we are scared, we'll be divided. We can't, our, our, our media have said so many nasty things about this camp. So many nasty things. River of filth. There are six of Like, what's next? Oh, zombie aliens have got a tent and set it up. <laughs> no, no, it'll come. Just give it time because the other shit didn't work, did it? <laughs> but we have to forgive them. Because what I saw coming out of here is the Kiwi way. Peace and love. Unity. We have our differences, but we can talk them through. So let's have that talk. Let's have that discussion. But the mandates end first. Yes. Yes. Woo! I don't know, it's looking pretty full. Just my kids are very upset and want to come back. Well, they couldn't come with me because, long story short, but they want to come up and I love it so much. This is the best place for my kids right now. Being in a school, like in a classroom where the government says, here, man, get them all back. Or oh, it's time for your booster. Be scared. That's not how we want to bring up our kids. We want to bring them up brave and free. And imagine it. I just, my little 10 year old's called Liberty. I taught her to say. They said, oh, you're not vexed. Do you think a girl called Liberty would take the medication that the government tells her she should take? Get real. Well, Liberty wants to come with me and find a wee campsite somewhere, pitch a tent, and you imagine it, right? For as long as she lives, she'll be telling the story. 
of the day. She came with others. I'm telling you, grand, my little grandson, the tent was right there. No, Nana. Yes, it was. There were tents everywhere. Nana. They did shit like that the old days. Oh, yeah, we did that the old days. And what happened, Nana? Well, the Prime Minister of the day ended the mandates one Woo! night. And we packed up and went home. And no government ever again decided to practice tyranny on Kiwis ever again. No government ever again decided not to listen to us. And no government, when we turned up here with her, our pain and our loss, denied us our opportunity to speak with our elected representatives. If I was giving a political speech, I'd say shame on you, but I won't. Because we need to reach out. And I don't much care about who's in power right now, because they're all as bad. I just want respect for the people of New Zealand, and I want the truth, I want the freedom, and I want the accountability. Pena Acknowledge you um, coming here today, and I want to say that.